All right, we're going to manually create a basic org chart. We'll start by very simply selecting the org chart template from the business category of templates on our getting started menu. We'll create the chart manually. We're going to drag it one shape at a time. We don't have to do this, but we can. That's the very basic beginnings of creating a chart. Org charts are created with a supervisor subordinate structure. What I mean by that is everything we do is from the top down and based on the superior shape. In other words, if you want to affect all the shapes in a group, you have to start with the supervisory shape, that superior shape. And we'll get more into that as we go along. We're going to start with an executive level shape and it's going to prompt us to drag the subordinate shapes onto that superior shape so that they will automatically connect. Different shapes represent different types of positions and we'll examine those and once we understand these the rest is simple. It's just drag and drop just like we would with any other Visio drawing. Alright let's go ahead and we're going to go to file and new and choose the business category of templates and we will choose the organization chart. And the first thing we're going to notice is that our org chart toolbar is open. And that's great. That's a good thing that they put that there automatically for us so that we don't have to or you know you might not know what's there and it's handy that it is and we'll use that and explore that later on but for right now we're going to ignore it. The second thing we notice is that our page is landscape instead of portrait and that's because typically our org charts are wider than they are taller because remember they're a pyramid structure. We have our org chart shapes and we're going to start from the top down with our executive. So let's go ahead and let's drag it on over here and watch what happens when I let go. Hey, I get a pop up and it's telling me to connect the shapes, drop a shape on top of the superior shape and look what's happening. It's a cool little graphic, but that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to choose OK. And I'm actually going to start to zoom in a little bit here. So that we can see this a little better. And I will take the executive shape. That's my CEO, Hank Richardson. And remember, the boys in New York are coming to Chicago and they want an org chart. The HR department wants to see who's working where, what they're doing. And, uh, you know, we've hired new people, so they got to, you know, see what's going on. So we will start at the top with Hank, our CEO and owner, and we will start with a manager, a subordinate position to that executive. So when I drag it over and put it right on top of that shape and let go, see that? they are connected automatically. In fact, I'm going to do that again and again. Now, I could, let me get rid of these, I could have very simply dragged this out here, got a connector, and done that the same way, but I don't know about you, I think this is a lot easier. It already makes those connectors, makes the connections in that pyramid style. Okay, we need to do a lot more. Our Chicago office has 81 employees. Well, I'm not going to sit here and drag 81 shapes on this page right now, I'll tell you that. But let's start with our CEO and our CIO, CFO, and COO. To add the name and the title, I simply just like, what do we do with our other shapes? Double click, that's right, Bill. And we're going to go ahead and put in good old Hank. And he is the CEO. We will add our CFO, Melanie Halal. We will add our CIO, Doug Stedman. And last, our COO, 
Joshua Hartson. Okay. Now, of course, each of them have people who report to them, and we're going to need to add those. So let me come up here, and let's talk about that. These three, remember, these are our... Oh, I have to fix that. These are our vice presidents. They're also in New York. Our Chicago people will start at the next level. So we are going to start. Melanie has one person who's a direct report to her. And I use this position. I just did that because I wanted to show you the difference in the shape. Now, she is still a manager, so it doesn't really matter what shape you use because it is still basically just a shape. The difference is the way it appears. So technically she's a manager. I mean, you could make a case and say these are executives too, which would give us this bigger shape. But I like to uh, look at it as if Hank is the big cheese on the page, if you will. So Melanie has one person that reports to her. Doug Stedman has one person who's a direct report. But Josh, Josh is a little bit different. Josh actually has two. Okay, you wait here while I go ahead and put in the names of our Chicago folks here. Hang on. Okay, Frida Smith has two employees who are direct reports to her. So what we're going to do, and these will be, although they are managers, yeah, let's go ahead and give them manager status. We'll drag that on there. And we see Frida has two. Now. William Switzer has three, and there's a couple of ways we can do this. I can drag three on here, or I can go ahead and choose this option here, three positions. And I put that there, and it gives me three positions who report to William Switzer. Now, I know that they are overlapping here, but don't worry about that right now. We're going to look at that in just a little bit. Steve Singer has five positions. Now, I can go ahead and I can drag five positions on here, or I can go ahead and do three and add two more, or what I can do is choose multiple shapes. Now watch what happens here. Number of shapes. Three, well we know it's five, and they're not positions, they're managers. Remember we talked about that. Over here, well you can't see it, but William Switzer, his are still managers, but they're showing up as positions. So I'm going to make these managers instead of positions and choose OK. And see, look at that. Now, Steve Singer has his five positions. The person that we have skipped here is Bill Altman, and he has five positions as well. Let's go ahead and also add five managers for him. And I know you're sitting there thinking, wow, Bill. It's really getting ugly over here, isn't it? However, are we going to straighten this out? Well, don't worry about that. We have lots of tools to do that. But before we do, let's go ahead and let's review. We selected that org chart template from our business category. We created that chart manually. I showed you how dragging those shapes one at a time and connecting them. That's hard. We also made you understand the supervisor subordinate structure. Remember, top down. We started with that executive level shape and by dragging those subordinate shapes on top of those top level shapes, it connects them and arranges them for us. Different shapes represent different types of positions and we looked at some of those and we'll look at a few others as we go along and the rest is easy. 
Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.